What is going on, all of you growers and smokers out there? Easy Breezy here, coming back for another mycology video. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna be trying to revive these cakes here from the dead. Uh, so these cakes have been uh, just chilling in the grow room. They have been completely bone dry for probably seven or eight months now. And uh, I keep on saying, because I have some two-year-old uh, BRF cake. I have a two-year-old two BRF cake just chilling. Uh, and I kind of wanted to see if I could revive it. That was going to be uh, a video I was going to make one day if I could revive that thing. But I figured, you know, I got these little cakes here that I've been uh, just sitting on for months now. Months. So I said I'm going to try it with these first and keep that two-year-old safe. I'll, and I'll give you guys an update. It's it's changed a lot since you guys have last seen it. Um, it's uh, it's scaring me, kind of. So, at the end of the video, guys, we'll go ahead and check that out. Make sure you're entered in my giveaway. Like all of my social medias. That's all you gotta do. Is just be follower on all of my social medias. And like one of the videos. Or and, uh, comment on one of my videos uh, that Philly Golden Teacher sent me stuff. Um, and that was the last video. So, anyway, so guys, let's jump. Get into this video. So, here we go. We have our pint sized jars here. And I'm only gonna use these pint sized jars when we have a small amount of PRF cakes. Because it doesn't make sense to use a bowl or anything like that. So my plan is really simple. I'm just going to uh, try to dunk these right now. And we're just going to see what a dunk does. And we're going to try to fruit them again in the shotgun, uh, micro shotgun chambers. Um, of course, these are all custom made. Uh, we're going to re-put these back in here. And we're going to see what happens. So uh, let's go ahead and throw our cakes in each one of these. Go ahead and put a lid on our micro shotgun chamber here. We'll toss that to the side. We have our two pint jars now with our BRF cakes in there. And you can see actually, and I didn't I don't think I shown this on camera that good, but uh one of these cakes here, was it this one? It was this one. But you can see though they're starting to turn blue, so there's still psilocybin present inside of these uh cakes here, but and maybe I can extract that in some way, but that's for uh future breezy to figure out. So here I have just a cheap old bottle of great value drink of water. Shout out to Walmart, please sponsor me. And we're just gonna fill these up until completely saturated. So we'll just fill it up. And then we'll fill this side up too. And I try to get it as close to the top as I can. But I don't wanna make a mess, so we probably won't be able to. Which is why I like the bowls, but bowls are only for if you're doing it a lot. And this is usually how I uh, do these little tiny runs that I do from time to time. So we'll just stick up our uh, our cap on these. What the fuck is that? Sorry about that, guys. I heard a hissing sound and I forgot I had uh, some grain spawn. Uh, cooking in the pressure cooker, so I had to go check on that real quick. So uh, Now we got both of these filled up here. We're just gonna sit on them for a little while and uh, Tip these upside down too for a few hours Leave them like that and then tip them the other way about three four hours later Just so that uh, the top and the bottom will get fully hydrated We'll just let them sit like this for about 12 hours. Nothing crazy. Some people go 24 hours But we'll just do a 12 hour dunk here. We'll throw them back inside of our uh, shotgun chamber and uh, that'll be that so yeah I guess this is part one this will be a little mini series uh, while I'm waiting I still got a bunch of uh, other series going on right now uh, that I'm currently filming but it'll take uh, a couple a couple days to uh, get all the videos together because of how I want to do it so without further ado ladies and gentlemen I told you that I would bring about the old two-year BRF cake and I wasn't lying about it. So, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. So, we had a, uh, this is two years old. This was in 20, 2020, I believe I started growing that. Or maybe even earlier. That might have been 2019, actually. I think this is 2019. So, this is almost three years old, I think. No kidding. Uh, this was a corn, um, corn mixture that I have. Actually, that's what I got in the pressure cooker right now. And you can see here though, uh, and, and it might be hard to find, but if you go back to some of my older videos, you might be able to see uh, this video if it's still up there, if YouTube hasn't taken it down. But we got this weird 
liquid at the bottom here, and I know it's so hard to see. But you gotta believe me, it's right there. There it is. We got some weird liquid kind of forming on the bottom there. Some some good old mycelium piss. And um, I'm not sure why it happened all of a sudden. Uh, I haven't opened this jar. This jar has not been opened for years. It has been in the exact same spot for all this time, and now all of a sudden, uh, she's starting to pee. And I find it a little concerning. Maybe some humidity got in there. I don't know. We're just gonna sit on it and see what happens. Um, so, anyways, so guys, I hope you like this video. I hope it's something a little different. Try to revive some some mycelium. See what happens. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next episode, keep on growing, keep on smoking, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you later.